Hi everyone, how are you doing? Just want to do a quick live Facebook um, feed. So it's a bit late in the night guys, normally I'm winding down around about this time, 10 o'clock. But I've been, um, I, haven't, I haven't actually been to the gym tonight. I missed the gym, missed the sauna. Been catching up on my, um, on my emails and all kinds of things internet related. Um, just got back from Poland. Um, late, very late last night, around midnight last night, Sunday night. So I um, had a great time there in Poland, catching up with um, FutureNet, okay? FutureNet, FutureNet Pro. So um, I had a good few days there, all day Friday, all day Saturday, and uh, we started to travel back on um, on Sunday morning. But a lot of traveling, and uh, really tired now, but um, just catching up on all, the, um, on all the things I should have done over the last few days. But... Um, just want to do a quick live feed as well before I um, wind down for the night and um, perhaps watch some TV for an hour or so before I go to bed. Try to get to bed before midnight tonight if I can. Just looking at who's coming on here. Oh, hi Rebecca, how you doing? Hi Kelvin. Hi uh, Javier, I think I pronounced that right. Nice to see you again. Yes, I've been on a three day. It seems like forever the last couple of days. Very tiring. Going to bed late and getting up early. Hi Shahan, how are you doing? So anyway guys, um, just a bit of a chit chat really. As, as it says in the, um, the heading here, diversification, okay? Diversification is the key. Is the key to everything. Okay, diversification. Making sure you um, spread your risk. And make sure you've got your, um, not all your eggs in one basket. So make sure you've got a nice portfolio and a nice spread of, uh, of, of a number of different income streams. Obviously just in case anything goes wrong. So nothing's perfect online. There's a lot of risks out, a lot of risk out there. A lot of things come and go. We've seen what happened in the past with um, sort of um, traffic exchange sort of style of programs. You know, like some uh, My Advertising Pays and... Traffic one soon plus a few others. They they've had their issues and um, good luck to um, Charles Scoville tomorrow. I, I believe he's in. Um, I think he's up against the SEC tomorrow, uh, out in America. I think quite a few people have gone out from the UK to, to support him. So um, let's look forward to um, some good news tomorrow. Hopefully with with the likes of Traffic one soon. I'm not sure what what the issues are there with my advertising pays. But anyway, guys, at the end of the day, it's as simple as this. You, you've got to be careful um, where you put your money. If you're treating these as investments, I do treat one or two as an investment, but uh, mainly that on the traffic side of things like, like FutureNet, I treat those as, as traffic exchanges or traffic programs. You know, I use those to, um, to build my list. I use the FutureNet side, the social media platform, to connect with people and build my list, same as I do on Facebook. And obviously the future art pro side of things I use um, for advertising my other businesses and, and again building my list, getting people into my funnel. So um, yeah, you need those type of programs, whether they be FutureNet, Future Art Pro, as you know, I'm also involved in in 10 ads pay. As you can see the hashtags in the header here, guys, a lot of the programs that I'm doing, FutureNet and 10 ads pay the main sort of one and two from uh, a traffic exchange point of view. Okay, so they're the main one and two. I'm getting pitched on uh, lots of other Traffic exchanges out there, as we all know, there's um, I think there's my paying ads or my paying crypto, as they call it now. Um, they got something going on there, cryptocurrency wise, and uh, obviously the likes of my 24 hour income. There's lots of these different rev shares that are turning up, and um, I forget the other one, which is quite a popular one, has just launched. I'm getting um, phone calls on lots, but I don't see the point of joining any more traffic exchanges, sort of revenue share style programs. I think two is enough. Three would be a real stretch. I know some people do, do even four or five of these um, traffic exchange programs, but um, I think that would be taking it too far. Basically, you'd be there all day sort of trying to control those things and keep on topping them, obviously clicking the ads. It's going to take some time. But I'm trying to sort of move away into other things. Obviously, cryptocurrency, gold and silver uh, are my main focus next to, um, next to the traffic exchanges, you know. So uh, I'm out there to acquire as many assets as I can. And I believe that um, gold and silver have been out there for hundreds of years, and um, that, that's around for the long term. So I'm I'm heavily involved in in a in a business that, that where you can save in gold and silver. Okay, you can you can you can acquire gold and silver at the cheapest spot price possible worldwide. I've checked the prices out, 
and you can also get paid as an, uh, an affiliate program through an affiliate program for recommending that to to other savers basically so that's just saving in gold and silver for as little as 25 dollars a month a very low risk uh, investment and they've also just added um, bitcoin as well so you can mine they've got lifetime mining packages with bitcoin so bitcoin gold and silver all in the one umbrella you can sell your gold into silver you can exchange your gold for Bitcoin, exchange your Bitcoin for silver and vice versa. Nobody else doing that, guys. So um, that's, I'm really looking forward to, um, to that. And um, I'll get the link over to you in a, in a private message. If you want to send me a message, I'll get the link over to you for the latest update on that you know, over the last couple of days. So um, also, guys, from a cryptocurrency, um, Dascoin. I've started to get um, heavily involved in Dascoin. I've got a nice little team building there. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get out to um, out to Serbia. I had too much on family-wise, and I, I got too much travelling on the go. As you know, I just came back from Poland, so um, I'm supposed to be off on another week's holiday shortly to Spain as well. So I can't do everything, and uh, things are starting to suffer. But um, so, from a cryptocurrency point of view, people think I'm crazy, guys. I don't know what it is. They have some, I've had a few people have a go at me for saying that I'm doing too much. I'm, I'm confusing people. But at the end of the day, I don't think I'm doing too much. Um, Two traffic exchanges, cryptocurrency, gold and silver. That's sort of one niche on its own. Yeah. Uh, precious metals, you know. So um, and cryptocurrency, it's, it's very important. You, you spread your you risk in a number of those different things. And um, cryptocurrency, is, there's hundreds and hundreds of coins out there. I think about 700, 800 plus coins. Just be careful as all which ones you get involved with. Check out who's behind them and um, just tread carefully. You know, and spread your risk. You know, I think from a cryptocurrency point of view, you're probably better off. Spreading yourself a, a, a bit more further, probably four or five plus coins to be on the safe side, just in case one or two of those go wrong. So uh, I've chosen to um, to work with um, Dascoin, um, Bitcoin. Obviously, I've been in Bitcoin for a while, and Capricoin, and now Fuel Coin. So I got a few. I got about four or five different coins on the go, and um, I've got around about um, probably about between I think between twenty and thirty thousand in, dollars invested in those coins spread out. Just to cover, you know, just to cover my, um, to cover my risk, and uh, yeah, some of them come with an affiliate program where you can get paid for referring other people in, into the business, and um, uh, some of them don't. For, for example, Fuelcoin, it's not an affiliate program, it's not an MLM. People just make money from passively from if the price increases, you know. So um, I like the idea of that. It not being an MLM is something different, and um, some people may not like that, you know. So. Um, but that is a coin actually trading on a, on, a, on a real exchange as we speak. The price has gone up. Um, it's actually spiked up quite a bit today. And uh, I think it's up around about, it was up 10 times in its first week. I think it's up about 27 times, it's 27 times on the last three weeks. So um, that's doing really well, Fuel Coin. Very early days, I think it's about 1.9 1, uh, 1 cents as we speak. But I think that's got potential to go up to 5, 10 cents plus at least. And uh, if that does happen, I'm looking forward to um, cashing in at some point on that. So yeah, guys, I got lots going on, and um, as I said, people just think I'm crazy. I'm doing too much, but uh, it does come on top sometimes. You know, lots of people to respond to and help, and my list is building, and uh, that's the main thing. The list is building, you know, and that's what it's all about, guys. Is getting people on your list, into your funnel, and um, helping them, providing value, supporting them. I'm on the phone all day. My property business is starting to suffer. I sold one of my properties today, which was um, good news. And um, so I'm starting to um, sell a few of my properties and diversify that money into my into gold, silver, and uh, and cryptocurrency. Just going through the chat here, guys. Sorry, I got lots of catch up in the chat here. Um, here we go. <laughs> okay, thanks for that, Darren. Um, all rev shares of Ponzi schemes. Thanks for the. Um, for that post, but that's a debate on its own. At the end of the day, Dan, I don't use um, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I call them traffic exchanges. I use them for traffic purely to build my list. I buy advertising packs. If I make money off the revenue share, that's a bonus, but I, I use them for traffic and building my list and getting my brand and my other businesses out there. And it's as simple as that. If I do make money off the revenue share, then that's a bonus to me, you know. But I am using them for building my list and getting myself out there. There are tens of thousands. 
even hundreds of thousands of people using rev shares and traffic exchanges. So I think it's a good idea to be in them just to buy the packs and get yourself out there. You know, they're, they're a great place to advertise. I don't use them. Yes, it's great to make money from the rev share, but um, if I didn't make any money from the rev share, I'd still be happy to make um, get traffic from the exchange itself and build my list. That's what's the key for me is building my list, you know. But everyone's got their, um, you know, their issues and um, debates on that. Hi Mary, thanks for watching from the Philippines. I can't pronounce the name there, um, Tor, I think that's Tor, how are you doing? I try to do, um, I'm on my iPhone, as you know guys, Facebook Live only works from an, uh, from an, uh, an iPhone. I'm not sure if any of you know how to um, do a, a Facebook Live from a desktop or a laptop. I've been trying to figure it out. I tried some software earlier, um, which actually lets you do it from um, a desktop, but it doesn't actually give you a live feed and the interact, well, it gives you the interaction, but it doesn't actually, Facebook doesn't actually let uh, your friends know that you are actually going live, you know you are live. Facebook doesn't actually let you know, so, um, that's some software called, um, check this out guys, it's called BeLive.com, B-E-L-I-V-E, -E, okay? B-E-L-I-V-E dot com, it's a free, it's in better test at the moment, but they'd probably be charging for it at some point. I tested it early on, I didn't let it go live in the end because I didn't have any viewers come on, but um, you can actually um, record live straight to, to your Facebook timeline by use, by logging into BeLive.com, okay? I did try it, but... I didn't get any um, people coming on. I got 17, I got 20 people on this hang, on this live stream now, but I had zero people when I used the software. But don't get me wrong, it actually put the post there, it put the video there live without recording it and uploading it as you would normally do. You could actually go live straight to your desktop, using um, live straight to your Facebook timeline using your desktop computer, rather than what I'm doing now, using my handset. But I'm assuming at some point in the future that the technology will change and uh, hopefully they'll be able to you know, let you do a live stream from your desktop with the interaction. Yeah, that's, that's strange. Um, yeah, thanks, though, Rebecca. Ignore the negative comments. The, pro the problem is with a Facebook live stream like this, you can't actually delete nothing or you can't block anyone while on a live feed like this. So um, I would have to wait now until the end of this um, live stream to go back into the chat, as you know, and then... Um, make adjustments or delete any negative comments. So basically on a live feed like this, anyone can say what they want. So I'm not in control. I don't think anyone's in control of that. So that's the downfalls, I suppose, of, of, a, live, of a live feed like this. People can just say what they feel, what they like about you, whether you be personal or not. But that's the way it goes. We all got our issues on different um, programs. I don't bother, um, I don't bother knocking any programs. In the past, I used to share things. If I saw some, something was, you know, constructively criticizing something, I may, I may share something. And um, if you go into the wrong hands, I, I get attacked by saying, why are you calling this that? Or, you know, why are you sharing that? So at the end of the day, guys, I don't, um, there's no point in getting involved in knocking any other one's business. Just let them get on with it. Time will tell if that business carries on going into the future. That's great. If it doesn't, then let them work it out for themselves. You know, at some point, a lot of things come and go. And, um, I don't think there's any point in um, telling anyone if, if they didn't, if, if they're in a scam and they're happy with what they're doing, that's fine. I'll just let them get on with it, you know, and just time will tell. Rebecca's saying, hold your finger down and it should say. Um, yes, that's right. Javier, uh, be live, sorry, be live dot, sorry, be live dot TV. You got it. Sorry, I said dot com. It's not .com, it is BeLive.tv, right? I tried that software, um, Javier, about an hour ago. It's great. It puts a, it puts a live video onto your um, desktop, use, on, onto your timeline using a laptop or a desktop. I tried it on my Mac. It worked fine, but again, I, I, I had no interaction. So there was no difference to actually uh, recording it yourself and uploading it. But you know what I mean? As he was talking, he was recording you speaking live and then putting it live onto your page at that point. So unless somebody accidentally came onto your page at that split second, they wouldn't have seen the uh, the feed. And Facebook was, was certainly not letting anybody know that it was live. But it's in better test and perhaps they, you know, watch that space. But that's, that, that software, it could prove quite promising in the up and coming weeks as BeLive.tv. Be interesting to watch that one. That's about it guys for now. I had these um, 
certificates from um, from FutureNet from the weekend, which was quite good. We got went up on stage. I'm not sure if you can see that. Just rewarded, just been rewarded to me for my uh, efforts. They also give me another little um, little plaque there. Okay, for my uh, achievements within uh, FutureNet. They also give me a FutureNet coin. I'm not sure if it's worth any money, it may be, but um, nice little gadgets to um, which they give us on stage for some of the top leaders. And um, still got my um, still got my laptop Euro Fitchnet still in the box, still haven't opened it. Brand new laptop, so um, I'm probably going to use this at some point. And I also um, I give Steve Lawson my phone, which I had for free in future. I give Steve Lawson because I was spending a lot of time with Steve on the on the last couple of days. Got to know each other a lot more, which was great. I give him the iPhone. Sorry, the um, the phone that I got on FutureNet. The first prize I won, I give that to Steve when he dropped me off. Thanks, Steve, for giving me a lift home from Heathrow Airport last night. We, we flew back on the uh, on the same flight. He gave me a lift home. I gave him the phone, and I just said, make sure you. Um, if you can give it to somebody else in your team, you know, reward, give the props, give the phone to somebody else who may need it in his team. As you know, guys, I also give away, um, I also give away five hundred dollars worth of free ad packs to Steve as well. I gave him ten fifty dollar ad packs um, last week, and um, the task was to give those um, ten ad packs out to, to um, 10, 10 people in his direct front line that had potential to work, and that was looking to build the FutureNet business. So I give away $500 worth of um, ad packs as well. So I've been pretty generous the last couple of um, days and weeks. So watch this space and I might start giving some other stuff away very soon again. Hashtag cryptocurrency guys. So I may be starting to give away some free cryptocurrency very soon as well. I'm thinking I'll work something out. Perhaps a bit of a promotion and um, start giving away some free um, das coins, free fuel coins, free big coins, even club coins, guys. I'm involved with Big Club Network as well. Don't forget. So I got a, I got a ton of club coins as well, which are doing really well. So watch this space, and um, I may start to give away some free cryptocurrencies um, very soon as well. So that's about it, guys. I'm um, just going to wind down for the night. Just going through the chat again here to make sure I'm missing nothing. Yes, I'll do that. I will turn them around since they became um, mirrored. Tor, thanks for that. My missus is saying her, her computer's broke, so she'll have it. Okay, I'll have to think about that one. Yes, yes, Rebecca, Steve's got a, um, a laptop too. I think he bought an Apple, Apple Mac Pro, I think, today. Yeah, that's, that's good news. So that's about it guys, okay? Uh, don't forget tomorrow night, the link is in the header here. Multiple streams of income dot online every Tuesday night, um, 9.15 p.m. UK time. I do that every Tuesday. Nine, um, quarter past nine UK time, I'll be doing that tomorrow. If you're on my email list, um, you can get onto my list by just um, putting your name and email into that link. That's in the, the header here of this live feed. Multiple streams of income dot online. And uh, don't forget, every Thursday, I'm going to be doing a cryptocurrency um, update and um, some training involving the, base, the basics in cryptocurrency. Um, but uh, that's going to be mainly um, mainly Bitcoin, uh, the history of, of, of cryptocurrency itself, a lot of Q&A &A on cryptocurrency and, and, and the blockchain, you know, and, and real exchanges type things. And uh, that's going to be mainly related to, uh, to fuel coin. That's going to be on every Thursday at 9 o'clock UK time, okay? So I, I'm, not, I'm doing two hangouts every week, quarter past nine on a Tuesday, which is multiple streams, and nine o'clock on a Thursday UK time, that's going to be cryptocurrency um, related. So um, I look forward, guys, to catching up with you tomorrow night at nine o'clock. If you can't make that when it is recorded, and if not, then on, on the Thursday one at, um, at nine o'clock. Okay, guys, I'm switching off. I don't want to blabber on too long. Things, people get bored and they end up um, switching off anyway, so... I like to keep these um, updates to um, you know five, six, ten minutes maximum. Okay, so have a good night, guys, and I'll catch you all um, tomorrow night if you're on my hangout. Okay, cheers, Em. Eh?